That looks sick. Damn. OEM wheels with drop suspension looks kind of gross. What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Thank you for joining me today. Um, as you guys can see, something uh, actually happened. I'm still able to drive the car, but something actually happened. But uh, yeah, so I'm just on my way to Ford quickly. I'm actually pulling up to them right now. Um, and this is a very, very bumpy road. I'm sorry if this is very bouncy. But uh, yeah, as it says in the title, uh, I need to replace something. And uh, that is actually my water bottle. I've, uh, or my expansion tank. I've literally been driving around with my expansion tank uh, having a slight crack in for a while. So uh, recently it started leaking a lot more water. So yeah, just putting up to Ford so uh, we can get a new one and uh, replace it. Hey, Ford parts, let's go in. I have secured the package. Brand, brand new <laughs> water bottle. This thing is so clean. When you guys see my old one, uh, you'll be totally disgusted. <laughs> the figures are rattling away here. Yeah? So as you saw, the bottle is fresh and brand new. I just came to a little location I like to come and play around at. Um, so yeah, bottle is fresh, brand new. I am uh, gonna head home, um, enjoy some cinematic B-roll quickly while I head home. And then uh, I'll jump into some other clothes and I'll get straight into uh, installing. Cheers. Hey guys, so I just got home, met a really cool guy with that A45 GLA, GL, with a GLA 45 uh, that you just saw at the garage. I took a couple of snaps, which are, whew, they, they spicy, but uh, let me do a quick clothing change and then uh, we'll get to installing this new bottle and adding some new liquid. Let's go. As you guys can see, got the new water bottle. I uh, quickly went to go buy some uh, pasturing fluid and then, uh, I don't know if any of you do this, but uh, every now and then I put in some fuel system cleaner or injector cleaner just to uh, clean out the injectors and uh, the system just to get it uh, nice and clean um, from all the like, carbon buildup and stuff. So uh, as you can hear, nice and sizzling. So uh, let's, uh, let's get straight into uh, replacing this water bottle. Oh, she's leaking. Just taking a leak, so definitely <laughs> glad I got the new water bottle. <laughs> Just to show you guys a quick comparison, that's what the new expansion tank or water bottle looks like and that's what mine looks like so that is that is disgusting i'm so glad i'm replacing that and while i'm on this topic let me just get my quid and quick guys this is not a paid promotion but i just want to give a quick shout out to uh mascot spares out in pretoria they they're close to uh mill and more they are uh, actually very, very well priced. I have bought my car's battery there, my Corsa's battery, <laughs> which you guys haven't seen in so long, but there's something coming out for that. 
Um, I bought my battery there and I bought this coolant there and they're very 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 well priced so if you guys are looking for any oils any spares anything uh, that you need for your car go check out NASCAR spares uh, over sorry over in Pretoria um, they're close to Menon on Hartfontein Drive check them out yeah so I decided uh, I'm gonna spoil you guys today. Instead of just doing the water bottle, there's actually a couple of other things that I've been wanting to do on the car. Um, Donnell, you've asked me to show you how to replace the air filter, so I'll be doing that today as well. So uh, I wanna see how quickly and efficiently I can get this done. So there is my replacement air filter. There is my Canin air filter cleaning kit. Um, I've got my jack and stuff because I'm gonna swap my wheels around. Um, just for trade wear and then there's my coolant so uh, yeah without further ado let's get to working while you're in the engine bay the only thing you're going to need is a 10 mm uh, socket right there or spanner um, 10 mm that's it then uh, you're going to need a pair of these really strong fingers <laughs> um, to unclip this and then I think you need a pliers for the one that's if you guys can see the one that's down there you need a pliers to just unclip that um, just one uh, precaution that uh, I did drive the car now so I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit but the way I'm gonna drain the water is actually via the coolant pipe that is down there it focuses so there's a cooling pipe in there uh, I'm gonna try and see if I can get you guys in there there where the water is leaking basically so there's a cooling pipe in there that uh, you basically unclip and all the water will drain from the radiator and the coolant uh, bottle and uh, yeah then we'll be able to get the, the new bottle on and everything replaced so. keep this because it's very expensive so without burning myself, I'm going to try take off that little clip right there at the back. That is the coolant pipe so uh, it can drain. But the water's hot so I'm going to be cautious using my pliers. So uh, yeah, let's go. It already squirted me. I need to be, be careful. There she goes. All oh, that gunky old water. Okay guys, so just one tip as well. Don't make the same mistake as I did and uh, run water in your car. Use coolant because it'll definitely fuck up your um, your cooling system, especially your water pump, recommended by Ford, always use coolant. So, uh, lesson learned for future. I have a 10 mil, so I'm just using my pliers. It's nice and loose, as loose. It's nice and loose already. Okay. Oops. <laughs> Almost lost it. This bottle is hella hot. Okay, screw can stay there. You're gonna need your strong fingers. Your stay right there, and then you need the pliers for the last clip. Let me on the bottom, yeah. Okay, so let's take it off. Ah. 
while all the water is out of the way, I'm gonna top up my uh, power steering fluid. Oh, it's nice and dark pink. Let's give this boy some more. Ooh, is that supposed to be in there? Alrighty, that should do. Let's get to installing this new bottle. First little label peel. Just the, I feel like I need to do this. And the new bottle. Clearly, you guys can see the difference over there. Gunky. New. First thing to do, reconnect the bottom pipe. Let's make sure it gets on properly. Got the sun going up on a Tuesday. connected it on exactly the same place as where it was. Then clip in this one. Okay, that's on. Then you can slide it back on there. Seems a bit, a bit tight. Just force it into place. Then put back the screw. Tighten that down. Okay. Now it's time to reconnect the bottom pipe. Okay guys, uh, sorry the airplane is uh, making some noise. After struggling for way too long with that freaking pipe, it's finally connected. So now I can refill the new fluid and uh, yeah, start pleading the system. So let's go. Okay, it's time to start the refill. So it says Ford's take exactly five. So uh, we'll throw in exactly five. busy waiting for the coolant to uh, just settle down and cool down because uh, I tried to bleed it but it's a little bit too hot so and I don't have the right tool for that but uh, yeah so while I'm waiting for that next thing I want to be doing is gonna be cleaning my k and filter so you take off the two 10 more bolts there and then you have the breather pipe on the side and then uh, you have all of these screws so you're gonna need one of these, you guys can see. It's a T25 hex screw, and uh, let's get to screwing. This is why it takes so long to uh, service the Ford Figo, it's because 
all of these damn screws that you have to undo for the freaking uh, airbox. Alrighty, um, when you are finished undoing your last screw, you are going to take it off. I can't remember which way it lays. Oh, there goes another one. So yeah, as you guys can see, if you open up your air filter box, there's another thing here, but it just diverts the air that comes straight into the intake. So I took that out just so it can run freely, but here's my K&N air filter, drop-in air filter. Yeah, this box is so dirty. You can see, definitely needed a clean. So uh, yeah, I'm glad I did this today. So let's get to the cleaning part. of hours and uh, then I will rejoin once it's dry let's go six and a half hours later air filters busy uh, drying in the Sun over there last thing I'm gonna do is I'm uh, just gonna swap around all my wheels quick so I'm gonna go from this side to the front from that side to that front uh, just rotate uh, all the wheels so that we get even tread wear especially with the camera that I have um, with the coilovers so uh, yeah, let's get to it.
guys, uh, see the way I'm struggling. So if any of you want to sponsor me a little quick check, your boy would appreciate that. Oh, say. Okay, I'm going to take a quick look between the front and the rear, then we'll be able to see what the wear is like. Okay, let me just get the front wheel. Okay, so left is front wheel. You guys can see a little bit child away because of the negative camber. And then here's the rear wheel. You can see it's still pretty much nice and fresh. So let's swap them around and do another 5,000 Ks before we swap them again. No. Oh. Almost put it on without the hubcentric ring. That would have made a bigger of a mistake. Okay. First one on. As you guys can see, I'm not using that stupid old Ford jack. Just damaged my car like a million times. So uh, I'm using this safe old uh, two tonner. And I'm lucky because it's actually sliding in under underneath the car today, where it usually doesn't. So very happy about that. Very happy. Damn. OEM wheels with drop suspension looks hella gross. In the kit, you get the air filter oil, so uh, you just add a nice even layer of that on both. Oh, well, I don't know if you're supposed to add both sides, but uh, I added on both sides. So, uh, just to get some extra protective oil layer in there. Okay, bent these wires a bit now. That's better. Okay, so then all you do is you uh, spray it from side to side. Well, I usually go up and down, but... I try and go in between all the panels just to get the oil nice and spray it through the filter. All right, so it should come out this reddish type color. I don't know if you guys can see properly. Okay, and I'm just gonna give it a little coat on the top. There we go. A nice, clean K and N filter. Let's take you guys off here quick. Okay, there you have it. A nice and clean K and N filter, oiled on both sides. So the next thing you do is you basically just leave this to soak up for about five minutes, um, just so obviously the oils can uh, seep through the whole filter. And oh, my hair is looking a bit wild. They just did wait for some. Uh, just so the oils can seep through all the, the panels and cover all the, the cotton fibers. Um, once that is finished, I will be putting it back into its like a little air filter box and then installing it back into the car. Um, on that note, um, uh, I'm actually just gonna wait. I'll show you guys how to, how to how to install it back into your car and then uh, we'll end the video off there. So let's wait for it to dry and we'll rejoin then. And this new water bottle though, Ooh, it makes the other plastics in my car look so trash. Damn, this engine bay. Something needs to change. Uh, something needs to change there. Very soon. And so, uh, you've left the filter so it can seep in a bit. Uh, you're gonna take your little blow by sponge, place that back in there, and get your filter. 
place that back in its space and then you're gonna get all your 60 million little screws again don't do that Ah, oh, it's fine. It's a full plastic. It'll, it'll last. Okay, and then you can put it all back together. Jeeps. Easy does it. And then, uh, yeah, just uh, tighten all your 70 billion screws. I'm going to put this on a time note for you guys so you don't get bored. Get the air filter back on. Guys, seriously, Ford, why did you have to put so many screws in here? But anyway, okay, so I'm gonna slide it on there. You're gonna pop back in your breather pipe on the side, and then you're gonna clip it down. And then usually you need a pliers for this clip, but mine's very loose, so mine just slides right. Um, and then you'll see most of you guys should have the well, should have the ten two ten more bolts right there and right there but I lost mine because oh he has one hey I found the long missing bolt but uh yeah I don't really put these in just because I take this off pretty regularly so yeah and then you guys should have one of those intake pipes there but mine's gone as well so uh, yeah guys that uh, that brings an end to the little water bottle install I'm doing the air filter bring um, an end to the little install video today water bottle was uh, super easy besides for that pipe down there um, as you guys saw and the air filter is super easy so anyone can literally replace the air filter um, i would suggest replacing your air filter if you can't get a hold of a KN one but yeah thank you so much for joining hope you guys enjoyed the video hope it was easy enough um, and easy explainable sorry for the clickbaity title but uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed um, and i'll see you guys in the next one cheers